Today I'm going to show you how you do a natural, no makeup makeup look just to exemplify your skin and how you look rather than being all like glam and everything and I think it'll be really fun and just super easy for the summer and let's go! First I am going to tie up my hair so it doesn't distract me and then put on some moisturizer. Next. I am going to apply some sunscreen to protect me from the sun on my face and neck. Now that skin prep is done, I think the most important part is concealer. For natural makeup looks, I don't like to use a foundation or like an overall thing. I just like to spot correct and the general correction of my skin. Take a concealing brush, apply concealer on the back of your hand to warm it up. And just conceal all the areas I feel like have redness or spots. This is also a brightening concealer, so I focus it mainly on the center and middle of my face. I take the other side to smooth it out. Now I take the second concealer and color correct. This concealer has a slightly peachy tone so I can use it to correct my under eyes at any redness or dark spots across my face. Next I'm using a wetted sponge to pat everything in and make sure the texture is consistent. Now because our face is a bit lighter, Due to the brightening concealer and the colour correcting, I'm going to add some warmth and colour into my face. I'm going to take a cushion foundation because it is more lightweight. It is roughly the shade on my neck and I'm going to use this as bronzer all around the face. For blush, I'm actually going to take a rosy lipstick. This will act as a cream blush and blends in much more naturally than powdered blush. Using the same sponge to blend it out. The pigment might seem overwhelming and scary at the moment, but in a few moments it will fade away and blend naturally into your skin. Next, some highlighter. I am also using a cream highlighter because it is much more subtle and looks so pretty and dewy on the skin. Taking a little bit on my finger, on my nose and just a tad on my cupid's bow and chin. Next, eyebrows. This is meant to be clear, except for I put in some black and brown um, eyeshadow to make it pigmented and it looks great. <laughs> a slightly neutral warm brown, a wash over my eyes. It'd be roughly the same shade as your bronzer. Now this step is optional, but I like to do a little bit of liner on the end of my eyes. I quite like this line when I smile, so I want to accentuate that essentially. So what I do is I take a really dark brown and then smile to see where the line is and just gently trace it. I only connect this to about where my pupils are and I stop there. I don't do the entire eye. I take a flat blending brush and just blend it out slightly so it's not so harsh. My lashes do not curl up naturally, so making it way too curled up is actually very unnatural, so just light squeeze. Then I use a lengthening mascara. I also do not do my under eyes because I don't really have any lashes there to apply mascara to, so you know, it's not very natural if I do it anyway. Now I'm going to use my sponge and gently pat everything in again so I can powder it. Now I'm going to gently powder my face. I'm not going to apply all over my face, only the areas that I feel will become oily or like move around. Last but not least, lip gloss. And that's it! You can do a light setting spray if you wish, but I think this is fine just by itself because you have some beautiful, beautiful cream textures on your face and I think that's kind of nice. Now normally, if I have pimples or spots, I do not conceal them. I just leave them the way they are because the process of taking off makeup when you have a pimple is so painful and I hate that. Now take out your hair and you're done. As you can see, there is still a lot of texture on my face and I think that is completely fine. You don't have to mattify and unify everything. Looks great the way it is. 
I think this is on the go for everyone. It is so light, so easy to do, and it doesn't feel very heavy on the face at all. Naturally, my face is lighter than my neck, so I try to balance that out with some bronzer, even though it's still a lot lighter than my neck. Normally, I would also go in with another powder just to make it match, but that would be just extra things to put on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something, and maybe you'll try this out yourself. Make sure to wear SPF and adapt it to your own face shape. See ya!